it's Jessica. So today I have another back to school themed video for you guys. So I honestly never even thought of this video idea. I don't know why I should have thought of it. It's a really good idea. But I had a lot of people commenting that they were going to be freshmen this year in high school and that they were scared out of their minds. Don't worry, I was too. And they were just asking for advice. So I had the idea to do an advice like Q&A type video. So in my last video, I asked you guys to leave questions if you were going to go into high school that you had, that you wanted advice on, and then I also asked some people to leave advice for the freshmen, so it's not just me giving advice, it's a bunch of people giving advice. So that is the video that I'm going to be doing today. So let's just go ahead and get on into the questions and advice. So the first question is, how do you deal with the peer pressure of having a boyfriend? Because in my school, there's a lot of that. Just honestly, you don't have to listen to it. I don't have a boyfriend. Some of my friends have boyfriends. People are always like, oh, who are you dating? Who do you like? But you just, you just have to ignore it. Because if you're not ready to start dating, or if there's no one that you want to date, don't feel like you have to. If you don't have anybody that you like and want to start dating, don't do it. Only do it if you 100% feel comfortable with it and don't let anybody talk you into it. Especially with like homecoming and prom and stuff, don't feel like you have to have a date. I went to homecoming the past two years without a date. I've never had a date to homecoming and I just go with my friends and dance and it's fun. Um, I had tons of people say that when going into high school they don't know anybody, they don't have any friends, all their friends are going to different schools, and like how do you deal with that? I was very very lucky and I go to the same high school as a lot of my friends from grade school so I had friends going in so I wasn't super nervous about making friends because I already knew that I had friends but I made a bunch of friends that I wasn't expecting to make. I've met so many amazing people the past couple years and I didn't think that I was really going to make that many new friends. I thought I would just hang out with my friends, but I met a bunch of people in my different classes that I talk to all the time and they're just like really close friends now. So how to like make friends? You just got to start talking to people. You're going to be sitting next to a bunch of people that you have no idea who they are in classes and you just got to start talking to the people next to you. It happens very naturally people I think think too much into it about making friends but honestly if you're not even like trying to make friends you're still gonna make friends I wasn't trying to make friends and I made a bunch of friends so you just gotta start talking to people and don't worry about it too much like you'll eventually make friends even if you don't make a bunch of friends the first day of school you will make friends I promise okay so my school is really big and I'm afraid I'm gonna get lost do you have any advice on finding your way around a new big school I am very fortunate I have gone to pretty small schools that aren't that hard to like find your way around. I haven't had the problem of trying to find my way around a huge school, but I was still nervous about it. Like my school only has two floors and only a couple main hallways and I was still nervous about finding my way around. The nice thing is the first couple of weeks when you're a freshman, nobody gets mad at you if you're late and you can always ask people where a classroom is. I know it's kind of scary. If your school is really big, you can always find a teacher and ask them where a classroom is. Like they're not going to get mad at you. They understand. It's not something that you have to like insanely stress out about and you'll eventually find your way around. It might be scary for the first couple of days but you'll figure it out. Are the upperclassmen rude slash mean to freshmen like in the movies? No. They're not mean I promise you. There are a lot of them that are really nice. They don't necessarily always talk to you but I've never had a situation where one of them has been mean or rude to me. Do you have any essential school supplies or items to have in your backpack? I think an agenda is super essential to have to help you keep organized. Um, definitely just have like pencils and like a notebook or paper with you at all times. Also recommend having a little like pencil pouch in your backpack or if you're allowed to carry purses with you bring that to just have like some basic like lotion and chapstick. Just have some, like some basic stuff like gum or like mints or something that you can always get to with just like some little things that you can always get to if you need them. If you could go back to before you started high school, what is one piece of advice you would tell yourself? I would tell myself that it's going to be fine. It's not as bad as you would think. You're gonna make it. It's gonna be okay. Don't stress out too much. It can be a lot of pressure sometimes, but you just have to push through it and not stress yourself out too much. And at the end of the day, 
the grade that you get on one test isn't going to decide your entire life path and career. Work hard, make friends, and just try to enjoy it. How do you stay organized with homework? Agenda. As I mentioned earlier, agendas are super essential. I always, like once I get into class and before I leave class, I always write down anything that I have to do for homework. It really, really helps me stay organized. What do you do to reduce stress during finals week and what are some good studying tips for finals? I actually did an entire video on studying tips for finals back in May when it was time for like spring finals. So if you want to go watch that, that has a ton of tips in it. Just some basic tips though are to start studying as early as possible. Um, the earlier you start, the less stressful it'll be. And then take breaks often. Don't get too stressed out over it. Um, they're not as bad as you think, I promise. I was so terrified going into finals freshman year. I had no idea what to expect, but it's not as bad as you're going to think. Like, honestly, it was so much better than I expected. I did really well on all of them. It's not as bad as you think, I promise. Is high school actually as bad as everyone makes it seem? The social atmosphere of it definitely is nowhere near as bad as people make it seem. That part of it is not even a problem. Like everything that like it has in the movies with all like the clicks and like mean girls and all that type of stuff. It's not, it's not like that, I promise. The social part of it is definitely not as bad as people make it seem. The academic part of it. It's not as bad as I thought, but it's still a lot of work. Is there a way to look cute if you have uniforms? I don't know. I actually have to wear uniforms, and it kind of sucks. Um, if your school allows you to wear like bracelets and accessories and stuff, definitely do that. Um, if they don't have a specific shoe that you have to wear, wear some cute shoes, do your hair, that also helps. I don't know. I'm still struggling with that. How to handle sports and school at the same time. I've never done sports. I'm not really a sportsy person, but I do like musicals at my school, so I definitely know a little bit about like time management. You just really have to manage your time well. Just like once you get done from practice, go home, like take a shower and whatever. You need to like start on your homework when you get home or try to work on it at practice if you have a little bit of time. Or whenever you just have breaks, if you have a study hall, definitely use it. Especially if you have stuff going on after school, it's really important to use your study hall. So then it makes getting work done a lot easier and you get it done a lot faster. Okay, right, so that is all of the questions that I'm going to be answering today. Now, I'm just going to read some advice from some different people who have been through high school. Don't let the first day dedicate what your whole year is going to be like. My first day slash week wasn't great, but I made a bunch of new friends, went on with a positive outlook, got involved, and have had a great high school experience. Don't worry about the little things. Everything will work out fine. Your friend group will change and be you. Don't be someone you're not just to fit in. Also, go to all the school events because you'll regret it in college if you don't. A way to calm anxiety is actually if you have a snack or water or something at your desk, if your teachers allow it, and also if your anxiety is really bad, just take the hall pass and walk around the halls or whatever just to calm your nerves. I graduated from high school last year. Always stay true to yourself, especially during this time when you're still figuring out who you are. Your friends will come and go, but it's all for a reason. Whoever is meant to stay will stay. Don't let one bad grade make you upset about it. It does not define your intelligence. Just try your best and be kind. You'll be graduating before you know it. I've graduated high school and college, and what I learned was when people say high school is only the beginning, not the end, they couldn't be more right. To be honest, it's barely the beginning. Don't take people too seriously in high school, and know that every single person feels insecure, no matter how confident they look. Be yourself. Even though you may not fit in, you'll find the best friends by being yourself. Okay, so that is it for this video. I really, really hope this helped you out, and if you're going into high school, that this made you feel a little bit better about it. Trust me, high school is not as bad as you think. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, it would be awesome if you could give this video a thumbs up for me, so that way more people can see the video. And if people are nervous about high school, hopefully this video will help them. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, you should subscribe. The link is down there. I am posting videos twice a week for the next two weeks. If you guys have any back to school video requests, be sure to leave those in the comments and I will try my best to do them. So I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video on Wednesday. Bye guys!